But it's great to welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge best-selling author and naturopath Lani Lopez. Morning, Lani. Hello. Now, the change of season, there's been a change in weather, a change of season. With that comes the sniffles and the colds and the viruses. Why does that actually happen when the weather changes? I think it's because we're just not prepared. So when we go into a isolated place and we're all together, then there's more risk of catching something. Yes. Yeah, Whereas when we're outside in the fresh air, it's fine. Yeah, there's, there's things going around and we're crammed into small places trying to keep warm. What are some of the symptoms that we can look for this time of year? Well, um, a, cold, a cold is more sinusy, lots of dribbles, um, feeling a sore throat and it can go into your chest. Mm -hmm. Where a flu is aching bones, high temperature, sensitivity to light. And um, it's, go to the doctor, especially if you've got a child, just to make sure mm. there's not rheumatic fever or meningitis. It's interesting, isn't it? Because a lot of us go, oh, I've, I've got the flu, and we really haven't. We've got a cold, haven't we? So Absolutely. And men will always say they've got the flu too. Well, the men have that special thing called the man flu, which yeah. I think is pretty much, even if they've got just a sniffle, that counts as the man it's flu, It's true, because they, they produce more inflammatory chemicals than women do. Do they? Yeah. So is the man That's flu true. actually real? Yes. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, now all the men are going, yes, we told you. It was real. So do we just say it's a fact of life or is it something that we can do naturally to sort of try and prevent these ills from happening? Look, the key is making sure your immunity is nice and strong because we're always going to have bugs flying around. So if you've got a strong immune system and looking after yourself through good healthy diet, exercise, sleep's really important. Mm. There are some supplements that can help too. So what sort of supplements could you be taking? My favourite's olive leaf. Second one's vitamin C. If you saturate your body, take 10 grams every day until you get diarrhoea, that so gets vitamin C right topped up into your body and zinc's another favorite of mine okay so what you hit the diarrhea and you know you've had enough yeah. is that how it works yeah oh that just sounds yucky absolutely gross <laughs> and you at least you know at least you know they're working <laughs> and then do you tail back on it if you've got to that stage absolutely you drop right back <laughs> Okay, that's something we can all do. And what have you brought in for us to have a look at? Uh, this is my formula olive leaf extract. It's called Ollie Up, mm -hmm. and it supports natural immunity and supports resilience for your body. Mm -hmm. What sort of things does the olive leaf do? It's very, very good. Um, I talked about immunity before, making sure yeah. your immunity is nice and strong. So if you're supporting your body's natural immunity, it's a great help for those changes in the season. Obviously, you can't just go and pick a leaf off an olive tree and eat that. There's things that have got to be done to it? You can. Can you? Yeah, I've boiled a handful of leaves before. Would it taste a bit, a bit? Very, very bitter. Right, OK. So a great. lot of honey with it and cinnamon. OK. So and also the ginger and lemon honey, does that have any benefits? It's um, very, very good for warming internally and getting the yucky mucus especially if it sits down too low. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Excellent. Cayenne pepper is very good too, makes you sweat. So what do you do with the cayenne pepper? Just a little pinch and with the cinnamon, ginger and olive leaf if you're that keen and your lemon juice and boil that up with your honey and drink that and okay. you, you will feel so much different and you'll be able to breathe more too. Okay and how many times a day would you be having the cayenne pepper or is there too much cayenne pepper? Could you overdose on it? Well just say um, a pinch of cayenne or quarter of a teaspoon per litre of water and if you have one litre of that formula then you'll be doing good. So just boil it all up on the stove and then just sip it throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, with your witchy cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I am prepared to be very witchy if it's going to keep me healthy over the winter months. Lani Lopez, thank you so much. That has been enlightening as always. To find out more about how Lani can help you and to purchase any of her supplements, go to her website at lanilopez.com.